course of day seven. It's a travel day. So going back home. I'm happy to go home to see my boys and my wife. It's been a crazy experience. A good experience. An awesome experience. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna go take my stuff to the main house again for the last time and get ready for my pickup. My pickup is at 9 a.m. My, my flight leaves like on two. So I'll be at the airport for quite a while. Get some editing done, do some funny videos. Alright. Well, it's been a great trip. And uh, something kind of special happened to me. I was able to um, meet Dan. First time ever in person. Well, I had met him once before, but he didn't really give me much time of the day because. He's got his clicks, and if you're not in the click, you're just not in. That's kind of the way it goes. But now I'm in, so I dove with him one day. I had a chance to learn a little about Dan's history. You see, he comes from a really long line of uh, pearl divers. And going back many, many generations to when his father would, when his father's 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 father would sit on the beach and bark at his wife and make her go get pearls so he could, um, continue to live his lavish lifestyle. Well, as these, uh, obviously, generations and generations of divers went out, their lungs just kept getting bigger and bigger. And as they spawned, they just became deeper and deeper divers. And Dan was telling me that one of the great things that during his childhood, he was one of 11 kids, that he um, was held underwater by his parents. And they, it, it's, it's heart-wrenching, but it's culture. So we understand. So they would just hold him underwater and make him pluck seaweed. And until he shook, he would be like shaking. Dan's explained this to me. He would shake and then they'd pull him up. And if he didn't have enough seaweed, he only got like a 15 second uh, turnaround time at the surface. And then shove him back down. So finally he escaped to uh, America where he ended up in Southern California where he became um, an incredible white sea bass diver hunting the top 15 feet of water because he fears depth from all of those uh, years of painful, uh, very, very painful memories. So it was a pleasure to dive with him. Thank you. Now that's a wasp. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we saw one the other day. Put some perspective on the size. Let's get him to go to your
Princess on the plane. <laughs>